Hello everybody and welcome back to the OpenGL tutorial. Today we will be continuing on with our uh, deep dive into more advanced lighting. Uh, today's topic will be uh, gamma correction. So what is gamma and what is uh, correction? Well, I don't know what gamma is. It's a Greek letter. Um, but the correction is essentially because monitors are designed in a crappy way. Um, so when you... In our... Uh, when OpenGL renders something, uh, we pass in color coordinates, right? Uh, so we have, let's say we have our vector 3, uh, and has 0 0.5, 1.0, and 2 point, or, no, sorry, that's wrong, normalized. So uh, 0 0.2 and 0 0.71. So something like that. And this is our color that we want to have. Uh, and in a graph, so I'm just going to create a little bit of a graph right here. So it goes from 1 to 1. So this is our input here. And this is our output color. And what we do want, what we expect, is that there's a linear mapping from 0, 0 all the way to 1, 1. Ooh, look at that. So yeah, that's our that's our line, um, and it goes from zero zero to one one, and it should be linear, because if we pass in zero point five, we want a zero point five, so we'll call this expected function e of x. So e of x, so let's say e of uh, zero point five, is equal to zero point five. That's what we want. However, what happens with the physical nature of some monitors is that um, they end up having a non-linear mapping. So they have more of an exponential or a quadratic, closer to a quadratic mapping. Um, so it's more like something like this function here. This red function here is the monitor, so m of x. Uh, so this is our monitor. So what happens is this function is actually x to some constant, and we'll call this constant gamma. So that's what gamma kind of looks like. It's, it's, a, it's a shitty drawing, but you, you get the gist there. So that's what we have here. Now, m of 0 0.5 is not 0 0.5. It is 0 0.5 to gamma. doesn't matter what the constant is. It's just some constant. So what we have to do to kind of um, to kind of nullify this effect is create our own uh, correction function and I'll draw this in blue and you see it's kind of the reflection of the monitor's output function across the line the expected line so we'll call this C of X where C of X let me just uh, actually so c of x is the uh, correction function. Um, and this is equal to x to the 1 over gamma. So what happens now is we do c of x in the shader. So uh, c of 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5 to the 1 over gamma. So then when we pass in 0 0.5 to the 1 over gamma into the monitor, the monitor then outputs a 0 0.5 to the 1 over gamma, and this results to the gamma. So the two exponents cancel, and we are left with a 0 0.5, which is what we expect. So the, the functions essentially balance each other out, and we have a correction. Um, so it's pretty. It's actually it's relatively simple to write this in code. Um, so in our object, in our fragment shader, uh, I'm just going to create another uniform boolean here. So uniform bool use gamma, um, pretty similar to the blin. Uh, so we're just going to say if uh, use gamma. What we're going to do is we're going to raise each component of our fragment color to the one over gamma. So gamma is usually 2.2. Um, that's just a typical value. You can customize it if you want. Um, but for our purposes, we're just going to use 2.2. Um, 
And so the way we're actually going to do this is we're going to take the result color. So the result after we apply all the blend fong lighting, uh, we're going to say result. Oops. In the if statement, we're going to say result is equal to path. There's a function to raise a vector to a, another vector, but it just raises each component. So pow, and then we're going to say result dot rgb or we have to say result dot rgb sorry is equal to pow of result dot rgb and then the vector will be vec3 1.0 divided by 2.2 so this essentially just raises each component to 1 over 2.2 so the 1 over gamma i'll actually create this as gamma so float gamma is equal to 2.2 so you see now that the power is 1 over 2.2 um, and then essentially it just gets added or it gets input to the uh, fragment color and it gets um, applied. So, uh, so now to actually use gamma, um, we have to create another uh, variable log just like we did for blend. So it's going to be pretty much the exact same. So um, in scene.process input, we're just going to add another if statement here. So update gamma parameter if necessary. So if keyboard colon colon key went down glfw key g variable log at use gamma is equal to not variable log at use gamma dot val boolean then um, we'll print out a cdc out use gamma just like that just like we did for blend so use gamma and we also want to set the initial value to true. So um, in uh, initialize, so underneath where we set blend to true, we're going to say variable log at use gamma is equal to true. Or, you know, we'll actually set it to false first, just so you can see how it works. Um, and then in, God, my freaking mouse wheel. Uh, and then in the shader, render shader, we're going to say shader dot set bool same thing for the blend just use gamma and the variable log at use gamma dot val of bool just like that and now uh, we should run this and we'll see how it works so you see oh it's all dark and gloomy and this and then I press G and whammo bingo bango bongo we have a bright scene and this is more a lot more color accurate um, to what we actually desire because we want it to be a red plastic. The material on this platform is a red plastic. We want it to look more like red plastic and that just looks dark. Like there's a bunch of light in the scene and it should be reflecting more of it. And when we, when we activate gamma, it makes it a lot more like that. Um, I can also uh, do the turn off blend you see uh, how they combine so um, yeah so you can play around with that um, but this is what we will be using by default so both are activated I still don't know why there's, there's that ring around uh, the spotlight I'll have to look into that um, but yeah so this is gamma and not gamma radiation. No, no, no. This does not give you gamma radiation. Um, if it did, that'd be kind of cool. If monitors just straight up gave you gamma radiation, I, I'd be... <sighs> that, that, that'd be pretty interesting. But anyway, that's gamma gamma radiation once again. Uh, next uh, video or stream, we'll be doing uh, looking at shadows and shadow mapping. So until then, just take it easy and uh, enjoy yourself. I'll, uh, I'll see you later.